Here I am as an analyst of the ABC Corp, looking to understand where my processes are facing a bottleneck and have inefficiencies with the ultimate goal to hit my KPIs of reducing average throughput times for the entire process. The process involves invoicing right from receiving the invoice up until approval and paying the invoice that primarily goes through our source system of record Coopa. I initiated my analysis by baselining and setting context for myself and learned that there are about 1000 cases that have about 100 variations across the entire process that is taking an average throughput time of about 9 days. I can start to visually observe some of the darker shades of blue in terms of activities to learn where some of these activities are taking the longer or happening the most. I go ahead and update some of my edge metrics to learn about the darker shades of activities that visually start to give me a sense of where the activities are taking longer. I want to continue drilling deeper and understand where all inefficiencies exist. So I navigate to UiPath's AI powered process inefficiencies tab that start to highlight bottlenecks, low automation potential and reworks and I can already start to learn about a few of the bottlenecks that I can work towards. Final check of invoices catches my attention. That is, some of the cases taking about three days, where the average is almost half of that. I want to drill deeper into and learn what is happening for, for final check of invoices. Should it take the amount of time it mentions? So I navigate to a smart filtering capability that is powered by Autopilot today, which is in our preview, and I can start to type out that I want to look at cases with final check of invoice as the activity and get a sense of the extent at which this activity perpetuates across the different cases i'm observing and understand the frequency of each of them the cases the autopilot was able to filter out the cases for me and i can see that it is a highly frequent activity that is occurring for about 90% of the cases across final check of invoices for the cases that have a status of open i can observe a couple of actions that are a part of bottleneck and i can start to observe clarifying deviant invoices is a bottleneck and final check of invoices also continues to be a bottleneck the other thing that catches my attention is the amount of rework that is going in final check of invoices which stands out to me as well and doesn't seem right i can imagine my finance team members needing to spend a whole lot of time in doing some reworks around getting and updating information within the source systems record but all of these collaborations happening outside the system of record in coopa i would imagine things around sharepoint excel potentially outlook um and maybe some of the other crm systems that they may be needing to spend time in and out of before i jump into actioning on reducing some of this rework i want to validate the extent of which it my average throughput time will affect if i'm able to reduce the rework in this activity of final check of invoices i can move into the capability of simulation that uipath process intelligence toolkit provides that gives me an easy way to test out some of these capabilities learn about how my processes can change affecting my throughput times and overall kpis that i'm observing without needing to change the process in production I see here I have the ability to start a new simulation by adding a scenario. I can add a scenario of removing the re direct rework for the final check of invoices as I was starting to observe. I can also add and I and I can update the activity of final check of invoice here. I can also choose to add another scenario of maybe reducing the average throughput time for the activity final check of invoice which today stands at about 2 and a half days if I can reduce that by 15% I want to observe this simulation of what will my process look like when I'm able to reduce rework and eventually update the throughput times. As this analysis and simulation continues in progress, I can navigate to some of my already submitted simulations and I observe that there was a simulation done around removing rework for this activity of final check of invoices and as I update the edge metric to throughput time, the KPI that's my goal to achieve and zoom in into final check of invoices i can start to observe and validate that reducing the rework can reduce my average throughput time by about 33% that's more than what i had simulated in my upcoming simulation so that's really helpful for me to learn and act upon i see here all the rework is removed and is aiding to a better throughput time that i can work towards in order to action on some of these items and i can go back to my simulations to action upon them 
I want to understand how is this activity truly happening. I want to understand the various tasks and specific collaborations that happen outside the systems of record because I'm aware that that's the only way I, I'll be able to reduce rework by automating some of those redundant actions and collaborations that are causing rework or potentially adding to some process optimization opportunities. And hence, I can kickstart a task level study to capture task variations to understand the activity of final check of invoices. I worked with Nupur from my finance team to capture a couple of task variations for this activity in the beginning. I can see there are two traces added with an average duration of 55 seconds. And as I get to navigate into one of them, I can see that final check of invoices in fact takes about these eight steps to finish and has dependencies on many different applications outside of Coupa. This is starting to validate my hypothesis of the collaboration happening outside the system of record that potentially is causing some rework and delays in throughput times. I can see there is dependency on an external ERP of SAP Ariba, where my people must be spending time to get procurement information, update some of the PO details uh, for customer information order details. And I can also see that there is dependency on Excel potentially to log and archive some of the invoice details that are once checked and finalized back into our SharePoint drive. I think some of these reworks and redundant actions can be reduced and move towards an automation. In order for me to action on it, I can navigate to an enhanced view of this task trace within task mining. And I can start to observe specifically the steps that go in that were involved as part of this activity. And I also observe that there is a long delay and wait time that people are waiting between confirming an invoice with team members and being able to update it back in OneDrive. I think I have a few hypotheses that I can action towards, which will lead me to a better throughput time for this activity. I'm inclined to download this task trace as a process description document and submit it to some of my COE team members in order to learn some of the as is and should be tasks in order to move towards an automation option. I can also provide them with an automation skeleton in the form of a XAML file that is exported and can be moved into our build platform of UiPath in Studio so that they can action on and automate some of these traces right away. Lastly, I can see I have the option to export these traces and submit to Automation Hub as well as needed in order to maintain the repository of the ideas that I want to submit for optimization and, op uh, and automation. This is just the beginning of the story. There's, in, there's more that we have in the toolkit, which brings our process intelligence capabilities with a unified view of data across process logs, system logs, humans into from their desktop actions, communications from where they spend time specifically in communications, also bringing automation data, agent logs and more. Thank you.